Did you know you can post to TikTok directly from your computer device without using the TikTok mobile app? In the last video in this TikTok series, I showed you how to create TikTok videos from your YouTube channel videos using the free vid video editing tool. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to post your TikTok videos directly from your computer without using the TikTok mobile app. Hi there, I'm Winston the Solopreneur Warrior and in this video, I'm going to show you how to post your TikTok videos directly from your computer without using the TikTok mobile app. But before we get into all that, if this is your first time to this channel and you are interested in growing your channel, driving traffic to your videos while making money on the site as an affiliate marketer, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Assuming you already have your TikTok video created, it's time to post it on TikTok. Now, if you still do not know how to convert your YouTube videos to a TikTok video like this, make sure to watch the video that pops up on the top right of this video. I'll also be linking the video up in the description box below this video. Now, to start posting your videos, simply head over to TikTok.com on your desktop browser and it will open up this page. Now, it's important to note here that this page doesn't operate like the TikTok app itself. I use this specifically only to upload my TikTok video since the TikTok app doesn't function on desktop. So all you need to do here is click on the cloud icon here on the top and of course after logging into your TikTok account. Now when you click on the cloud icon here, you'll be presented with this upload page. Now simply drag and drop the video you want to upload here. Now since I've already created some videos to post on my TikTok account in the last video, I'll just look for one of those videos and add it here. Next is adding captions. Now captions on TikTok is basically a sentence or two about what the TikTok video is all about together with a couple of hashtags or tagging another person on TikTok. You have up to 150 characters to use in this caption area so you want to do your best to take a advantage of this space by adding hashtags because hashtags is what will help your videos get more views on the platform. Next is selecting your video thumbnail. Now as you can see, when you upload a video on TikTok using this desktop browser, just like on YouTube, the algorithm selects a couple of images within the video and suggests them as your video thumbnail for you to select which is the best for your video. Now, TikTok doesn't yet have the custom thumbnail feature like on YouTube, but selecting the best option from the default ones here can help your video get more views on the platform. To finish up, click on the post button to post your video on the TikTok platform. And that's all when it comes to posting or promoting your YouTube videos on TikTok using your computer. Now, just like any other social media platform, to achieve any amount of success, you have to consistently be posting on the platform. Now, since not everyone has the time to sit beside their computers to consistently post their TikTok content at different times of the day, I also thought it might be worth sharing this new TikTok software I came across recently. The software is called VideoTik. Now, basically, the VideoTik software does the same thing like the vid tool I shared with you in the previous video in this video series on how to create TikTok videos using your YouTube videos. The only major difference between the vid tool and this video tick software is the additional scheduling feature that the video tick software has. Just check out how to use the video tick software to easily convert your YouTube videos to TikTok videos and how to even schedule it to be posted at different days and time for maximum exposure. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a TikTok video or viral TikTok video that you can post on your TikTok account to generate more traffic to your offers, to your products, or just to your profile to get more subscribers on TikTok, on YouTube or Instagram, okay? And you don't have to be on a camera to create these funny, engaging videos for TikTok. Now, we all know TikTok is all about funny videos, engaging videos, educational videos, and you don't necessarily have to 
be on a camera to create those kind of videos. So with VideoTik, you can create three different kind of videos, the code videos, GIF videos, and viral videos. These are the three general type of videos that are very popular on TikTok and get the most engagement. So let me show you each one of them and how you can quickly create. So let's start with funny GIF videos. So if I click on this tab right here, I can give my campaign a title. Now it's going to ask me for a keyword. So whatever I want to create the video about, let's say I want to create a video about workout. So I'm going to type workout. How many slides do I want? Of course, I can add more later, but this is for the beginning. So let's say I want three slides. So video tech went out there, picked three funny trending GIF about workout and put them all there. Now, if I, if I don't like something, I can always change it. I can click on this refresh icon. It's going to load a new GIF, right? I can add more slides. If I click on this, it's going to add another, um, you know, funny GIF about workout. I can change how long a specific slide is going to be on the screen. I can add text position. I can add more text, right? I can change the position. I can put it anywhere. I can change font, customize it exactly the way I want. I can add font color. I can add a background to the font. I can add a blurness on the background. So, you know, the background gets blurred for this slide specifically. And, you know, the text is more visible if I want to use the slide as an outro slide, as a closing slide. I can increase the font size if I want to make things more visible if it's the ending slide or whatever. And I can keep on editing all these slides as I want. I, can, I have full control over how I want to customize this. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to click on next. And this is where I can add my own logo, my own watermark. Click on next and add background music, text to speech voiceover, uh, or you can, you know, uh, upload your own voiceover if you have already recorded it. Now you get access to tons of uh, background music that we have already added, or you can choose to, you know, type in your text to speech for each slide. You know, you, you can have a separate message for this slide and a separate you know, audio for this slide. And you can pick from tons of different languages. You can pick from tons of different accents for each language and you can save them. Once you're done, all you have to do is click on next, pick if you want 720p or 1080p. Make sure it's always MP4 and you click on start creating video. Now it's gonna take another minute or two for a video tick to create your video. But this is how you create a video. So it could be a GIF video. Now it could also be a code video. Let me show you how you can create a motivational code video. So you click on code video tab over here and video tick will all automatically pick a slide. It's going to create your first slide for you. It's going to add a, you know, a deep meaning background picture and a code on it. And, you know, if you click on plus sign, you can add more slides and old slides have a coat and a background, interesting background, a motivational background added by default. Now, what you can do is you can again, customize all of them the way you want. Now, if I go to uh, slide setting, I can of course control how long the slide's going to be. I can click on slide code and I can pick, uh, you know, from over 5,000 coats, or I can add my own if I want to. Now, if I go here, I can reposition it. I can change this code and write my own code. Um, I can add a different font, make it look better, increase the font size. Again, same customization, just the way we did in GIF videos. Everything is pretty much the same. If I want to add a different image, I can add a different image. I can add a different video. You know, you can search from different videos and you can add those videos here. Uh, it's going to play that video in the background and you'll have your code. So again, you have full control over how you want your video to be. So this is how you can create a code video. The final kind of video is trending video. So what it's gonna do, we're gonna click on viral video tab. We're gonna give it a name and again, workout and three slides. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna go to YouTube and different video hosting, video sharing websites and find three trending videos about workout. Put them all over here. And what you can do is you can trim them I can take a part of this video, this small clip, and I can curate all these videos together, put them all together. And then again, I can add my text, customize the way I want. So once you've done creating your video, which you can see on the dashboard, if you go back, once you're done creating your video, so as you can see, this video has rendered successfully. I can edit it again. I can delete it. I can download the video. I can share the video on Scivid application, on LiveReel application, on ScriptReel application or I could post this video as it is on YouTube and Facebook right from the dashboard. Now, the thing here is this video is still a regular rectangular video, a 
horizontal video what you want is a vertical video for TikTok. so step two is once you've created your video you're gonna go we're gonna go to trim reel over here that trim reel helps us to convert our regular video into TikTok friendly video now you can pick from the videos you have created by clicking on this little button over here all the videos that you have created you can pick from them for example let me pick this video that i created okay so i've got this video over here now what i want to do is i want to convert this into 9 is to 16. so i'm going to click on 9 is to 16 and it's going to convert the video into 9 is to 16. now you have multiple options if you want to create a square video you can do that as well um if you want to create a 4 is to 3 video you can do that 5 is to 4 16 9 is to 16 is the version that you want for tiktok now again trim reel this feature in video tick is very powerful there's so much you can do with it but again we're going to focus on tiktok here so i'm going to pick 9 is 16. now i'm going to click on this video as you can see there's a little black bar so i'm just going to move it around so it looks perfect perfect ideally this is all i have to do and click on create that's all i want to do but if you want to be creative if you want to do more you can go into video tab over here you can add a no crop so you know the video is still vertical but you know everything is visible and then you can add you can go here and add some text you can change the font of the text you know you can add a top and bottom bar you can make them bold or underline you can add emojis if you want you're good to go you click on create it's going to take a couple of seconds couple of minutes and then the video will be available right here next step once we're done creating the video so we created a video using gif video or code video or viral video and we've converted that video into tiktok friendly video next step is to schedule this video so i'm going to click on scheduler over here the way scheduler works is products and companies like tiktok and instagram they do not like automation they do not like you scheduling 500 years worth of you know content and it auto posts on their platform this is not how they uh, want their networks their companies their apps to be so we have to work in a white hat way. The white hat way is you schedule a video uh, using the web app, and then you have to install a mobile app on your Android phone or an iOS phone, your iPhone. And what's gonna happen is, once the time arrives when that video is scheduled for, you're gonna get a push notification, get a quick notification on your phone, you tap on that and your video will be published. So let me show you how that works, okay? So again, on scheduler, you can pick from all the videos you have created or you can upload your own videos. You can see how many posts have been, how many videos have been published, how many videos are still scheduled and you can see all of them here. You can modify them, delete them, whatever you want. Now, let's say I wanna schedule a video to be published on the, on the Sunday, on the 24th. So I'm gonna click on add post button here and I'm gonna pick the video that I've created using video tick. Now it's gonna be the same video that I've just modified uh, using trim reel. What's gonna happen is it's gonna ask me for a campaign name. Since we have added this, I'm gonna click on next. I'm gonna click what time I want this video to be published. I want it at three, uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here we go. And I'm gonna click on schedule. That's it. So what's gonna happen is on the Sunday, at 3 p.m., I'm gonna get a quick notification on my phone, and since I'm always on my phone, all I have to do is tap on that notification and the video will be published on TikTok. So just to show you an example, I've installed a TikTok publisher app uh, on my Android phone, which you can, of course, download from the dashboard of uh, Video Tick. All right, as you can see, I just got this notification that it says it's time to post video on TikTok. So I'm gonna tap on this. It's gonna open up the TikTok app and all I have to do is click on next, click on next. If I wanna, again, customize that more music and stuff, I can do that and just click on post. My caption is already copied into my clipboard. So all I have to do is paste, click on post and my video will be published on TikTok. It's that easy guys. You can schedule one or two video to go live every day and you can grow your TikTok account, start selling, start getting more followers, and start getting more views, start leveraging this brand new platform out there. Now, the first link below this video will take you to the video tick software. With all that, I'll wrap up this video. I hope it was helpful. If so, hit the like button below, share on your preferred social site, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another helpful video.